Thank you, Beth. Okay. Good morning, everybody. Um, just a roadmap to our lecture. It's going to be a little long, and we have to go through all the nitty-gritty details of bifurcation intervention, starting from culotte, then DK crush, then mini crush, which we love, and then we'll end, with, end up with tap and reverse internal crush. So I'm, I'm kidding. So for that, you have to download our app. <laughs> I'm here to talk about our app that's called Bifurcade App. And uh, before I proceed with talking about Bifurcade App, um, I would like to thank Mount Sinai and my mentors, Dr. Kinney and Dr. Sharma, for connecting my left hemisphere of my brain to right hemisphere. Because my left hemisphere always loved cardiology, interventional cardiology, and my right hemisphere always loved technology. So thank you to them, and that's what the result of uh, their support and their uh, a lot of gray matter. Sounds like we're talking about brain. OK. <clears throat> so bef uh, let's go ahead uh, and fasten your seat belts, and we'll go and talk about bifurcate. So get out of the folder of cardiology in your brains and double click on the folder which says cardiovascular education and technology. All right. So Mount Sinai Cat Lab is a very busy cat lab. We have significant impactful experience we get here about interventional cardiology. We are looking at angiograms day in and day out. And in geography, like any other uh, imaging modality, it's pattern recognition. So I was taking a stroll in the Central Park, and uh, I saw this tree. And uh, I realized this looks like LED, bifurcating to diagonal, diagonal 2, then left circumflex, OM. So multiple bifurcations. So I thought maybe that was relevant. That proves the impact of learning I have on my brain. OK, let's go forward. So why we chose bifurcation intervention, first of all, to make an app about? Bifurcation intervention, as you see, can be really complex, can be really challenging. How? Well, if this you consider main vessel and that you consider side branch, if I try to put a stent in that side branch, that dang stent sticks out in the main vessel. And we have to, it can almost kind of half or quarterly, or depending on how much it sticks out, it can close the main vessel. So you have to tackle so many things at the same time. Sometimes you go in with two stents together. Sometimes you go one by one, depending on whether your exit is closed or your main highway is closed, depending where the blockage is. There are multiple permutation and combination possible. And that gives rise to multiple permutation and combination of techniques. And if you miss one step in that technique, it can be disaster. So that's why, one, there was step-by-step -step approach in this kind of intervention available. And two, there was no single source available till bifurcade, which talked about all kinds of technique available in an immersive way. So that's why we chose bifurcation intervention. How complex it can be? Let's see. So interventional cardiologists, the other name we are called as in the lobbies of the hospital is the plumber. We are the plumbers of the heart arteries. And if this, is, if this, da, da, this cartoon represents a regular day-to-day -day garden variety stenting in, in scientific language type A stenting, that's bifurcation. That's too many pipes bifurcating and trying to control them together. So it can be really complex. And if you do craniotomy, again, brain, craniotomy of the person who's trying to learn bifurcation intervention, that's how the brain looks like. It's chaos. So we wanted to control this chaos, wanted to put it in order, and wanted to explain bifurcation step by step. And that's why bifurcate came. But why mobile application? We would have made some other way, maybe a new book on, a single book on all bifurcation interventions. Why mobile app? Well, we have to go to National Geographic Channel for, for a bit. Let's part ways. And that's the human evolution you see. And the Homo sapien uh, there uh, walking around with his briefcase. But then a new species has come up. You can find the species on the airport. You can find them on the railway stations. 
actually you can find them on the road when you're walking on, on the sidewalks. Actually, some of them are right here. They're sitting next to you. Just, just look on the side, right? And that species is called Homo sapien millennials. Uh, and I coined that term before I was thinking I'll put my name in there, but uh, I couldn't. Homo sapien millennials. And you see them everywhere, as I said. <laughs> okay? All right. We used to watch zombie movies. Uh, this is the other, the technological zombies. Okay. So there are downside to it, but there are upside to the digital age as well. And what are the upside to the uh, what are the upside of technology? We have to look at the brighter side and hide the dark side and stay away from that. Maybe don't walk like that. Global impact. Technology has global impact. Once app released, it reaches millions and millions of users worldwide. Okay, you can make it free or you can charge a little money, but at the end of the day, this has a global reach. You can download an app less than a minute if you have a good internet connection or a data. Apps are colorful, immersive, and highly visual. Our subconscious mind holds long-term memory. And subconscious mind understands picture very well rather than words. So apps provide you a medium to be very immersive. But you can, you can make a colorful image in the book also, yeah but that won't be interactive. Apps can be interactive because you can play with the screen. It's, it looks like you can almost play a game sometimes and learn from it. Um, so the touch ability and the ability of app to respond the way user touches it makes it even more impactful resource or medium for teaching. OK, here's another thing. When you have a book, the next edition of book, as the, as the knowledge involves in the field, it may take years, at least months, for next edition to come out. But for the app, within weeks, you can push the next update and update the knowledge as the field is progressing. Or you can add more knowledge. So that's why the bifurcade came through. And that was the sole reason we made bifurcade. So that's enough about why. Now let's see what bifurcade can do. Bifurcation interventions are mainly the way uh, it's approached in interventional cardiology is to see whether left main arteries involved in non or non-left main. And accordingly, it takes you to, to, uh, to the Medina classification, which is further based on where the lesion is located at the bifurcation of the artery. So you can see how um, um, the app goes through the user interface. This is one example, busy slide. You don't have to read it. You can download the app. However, this shows one flow on the left side of the DK crush, uh, DK crush technique step by step. And on the right side in red, it is showing the mini crush technique in non-left main artery step by step. So it'll take you from every step. Put the wire in, put a balloon in, take the balloon out, put the stent in, and so forth. So on your leisure time, that's another advantage of app. You don't have to be sitting here in suit and tie. You may be in your pajamas or in the, in, in, in the aircraft. You can learn it anywhere. So how we made the app? Again, again, another busy slide. But at the end of the day, it took quite a bit of effort. But it is very fruitful effort because uh, there is a gratification in teaching others. But it started with collecting all the knowledge from experts in the books and converting it all into paper algorithms, which is not that difficult. And if you want to learn more, this is going to be a, a, a paper in uh, Journal of American College of Cardiology soon. So you can read that. However, you then communicate with, to, the, uh, to the tech technical app development team, and they make your dream possible. Where all the money goes? Money goes in getting the content generation, and then major money, the bigger bubble, that's the technical cost. And then app launch and promotion takes some money. However, it's highly variable in the tech field. It depends on your negotiation power. I won't bore you with that. Now, I have been telling you it's interactive. I'm time to show you what are the interactive things there. And the green there, first I'll tell you anatomy of the app and then physiology of the app. Anatomy of the app is in the corner. Typically, there's a menu button. That's a dry and boring part. App banner on the top, 
and an interactive tracker in blue right there. That's the interactive tra tracker be because you can choose that as a button and switch your location in the app. Once you down download, you'll realize it. And it, in each steps, there is an underlying text there. The part which is underlined is a hyperlink which can take you to the related text in the app itself, which, which, where there's a detailed discussion like a book. So this app has been downloaded by more than 5,000 users worldwide. And our survey results showed that most of them were using it um, at least uh, monthly to weekly basis. Interventional cardiologists, fellows in training, as well as nurse practitioners and techs, uh, those who downloaded the app, uh, and more than 85% of them said that it improved their knowledge and it improved their practice, both. So, a glimpse into the near future, what's brewing. Uh, what's brewing in the near future is a few more apps. Uh, Octade was released yesterday. It's about intracoronary imaging. Dr. Kinney um, released it during the first live case yesterday. A couple more in pipeline who are coming are Transeptade, which is about transeptal puncture, and Tavercathade, which is about catheting the patients, doing angiography on the patients after Taver valve is in place. Glimpse in the future, not near future, which is a little far from the fu near future, is a virtual reality-based learning where you will be sitting at your home and you may have a virtual reality headset in front of your eyes and you, you can have even more immersive experience, something like you're sitting in the right atrium and trying to puncture into left atrium, something like that. And plug-in devices where you can plug in the device in the iPad or iPhone and you can play as if you're handling the catheters and wires. So that was about bifurcate app, and the purpose of uh, discussing bifurcate app was not showing off that how cool stuff we have done and how great we are, no. The purpose of this talk was to inspire others to do the same. If we can do it, you can do it. Because when you teach someone, you touch their life forever. And technology might help touching others' life, m many more lives, and millions of life at, at the same time. So that was about that. So the purpose of education is not to fill an empty mind. The purpose of education is to replace an empty mind with an open one. Thank you.